just tryna set the tone. I've been kicked when I was down. None of that shit matter now. Niggas think they run the town, so we run them out of town, and they gotta relocate. Gotta do Check me out. Boom, bam, bam, bop. Bada bop, boom. Lovely people and welcome back to my channel as you can see I have mini braids back in because my mom decided that she wanted to do my hair so I let her <laughs> and she put these in my hair but I came to her freshly moisturized after the aloe vera mask so I want you guys to see like the final results of the braid out so I'll show you clips of um, the hair towards the end of the video so I'm coming to you today with a video for some oil that you can put in your hair. Um, do it yourself with a few easy ingredients. So I just want you guys to check that out and it's going to be a quick vid. Um, I'm not sure what I'm coming to you with next, but if you can drop any comments below what you want to see. Um, I know I don't have many subscribers yet, but I want to do a giveaway. I have really cute outfits that I've never worn. And I just kind of want to be generous. I want to give some stuff away. All right. So just comment below what you would like to see next. Be it a story time. Be it anything. And comment ideas for the giveaway. What you will need. Jamaican black castor oil. Fresh aloe vera. Peppermint oil. Sulfur 8 or sulfur powder. Extra virgin olive oil. And an applicator bottle. First things first is you want to cut up the aloe vera. And if you haven't seen it, you can check another video of mine where I actually cut up an aloe vera plant. You'll put it inside a measuring cup and add some extra virgin olive oil. Only one cup. This is to make, um, I don't know how many fluid ounces my applicator bottle is, but a normal size applicator bottle, it will make, it will fill it up on this product i have to get the details with for you later but if you can see just one cup of olive um olive oil so the next thing you want to do is fill up a pot of water just a little bit um till it reaches over the cup of oil and aloe vera and put your measurement cup inside put it on high let that boil for a little while well when when it starts to boil you want to get a container i use the red solo cup and put a little bit of sulfurate in it because we're going to put this thing in a microwave just for a few like a few seconds i think i did for like 30 seconds and it will liquefy we're going to add that to our oil mixture As you can see my processes i just scooped out just a little bit and i microwaved it my water started to boil so we're going to be taking that out soon now that our sulfur 8 is melted down, we're going to add the peppermint oil to that mixture. I just put a few drops until I think about three, four, maybe five, about four drops, four to five drops you want to add because it's essential oil. Then we're going to add our Jamaican black castor oil to the mix. Now you can add any oils that you feel are good for your hair. Um... There's a whole grapeseed oil, a whole list of oils. But these are the oils that work for my hair and my scalp that I love to, to use. Okay, now that our aloe vera is finished boiling, we took it out the pot and we're starting to remove. Now, you know when, you're, when your aloe vera is ready for inside your oil because one, it turns brown and two, it starts to look like chopped pickles. That's the consistency. It just looks like sliced pickle, deli pickles. It's no longer slimy and gooey. It's just, look at it. It's just, it's just useless. Well, because we took all the ingredients. And if you can see that little swirl in the middle, that is our aloe vera. See, it changed the look of the oil. So that's a very good moisturizing oil right there in itself. Okay, so we're going to add in our other oils and our sulfur eight grab a funnel and your applicator bottle after this i just like to mix it around just to you know just to show you how well they mesh together so you can grab a, your applicator bottle and your funnel or if you don't have a funnel you can be steady and pour it with your hand and Pour it in there, and honestly, you're done. Put the cap on, and you can start. Wait till it cool a little bit, and you can put it in your scalp. And I'm going to show you the big reveal of how it looks. 
Thanks for watching, guys.